Hi everybody, my name is Eli Fletcher. I'm the assistant principal up at Bedford High School. I'm gonna walk you through how to log into Infinite Campus today and then how to see what classes your eighth grade teachers recommended you for for next year. I'm gonna start that process by taking a look at the course sign up information sheet that we signed, uh, shared with you on Friday. Um, up here at the top, you'll see the three counselors that we have at Biddeford High School. Um, those counselors are assigned to you based on your last name. So if your last name starts with letters A through GA, you'll have Mr. Roy as your counselor. If your last name starts with letters GE through M, um, you'll have Mrs. Shrest as your school counselor. And if your last name starts with letters N through Z, you'll have Mrs. Rowland as your counselor. Um, as you're picking out courses, if you're wondering what classes you should take next year, um, if you have some direction that you wanna go out after school and you wanna make sure you get everything done to get there, um, start conversations with them sooner rather than later. Um, they'll be able to help you out. My email address is down there at the bottom. If you have general questions about how to log in or how things work, um, or even got questions about what high school is like next year, feel free to email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So starting with kind of core course information, um, every freshman next year will get signed up for these six classes. Um, health, health is graduation requirement. We try to get that taken care of if we can your freshman year. Project Adventure is your freshman year gym class. And then we have English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. These core subjects are the only subjects at the high school that are leveled. They come in uh, three choices. One is core standards, one is college prep, and one is honors. Um, these, you've been recommended by your eighth grade teachers for these levels. Um, if you wanted to get into honors, you should have already applied and you should know whether or not you got into that program. To find out what levels your eighth grade teachers recommended you for, we'll need to log into your Infinite Campus portal. Next year, you'll use your Infinite Campus portal a lot. Uh, you'll be able to find your schedule in there, your locker numbers in there. We'll check attendance, check your grades. Um, it's just our kind of one-stop shopping for all your information you need here at school. Um, where we find that Infinite Campus portal, first we'll go to our district webpage, www.biddefordschools.me. Over here on the right-hand side, you'll see the word Infinite Campus, and then you want to go down to Parent Student Login. You're going to log in as a student, so click Campus Student, and you'll get the student username and password. Now, on this sheet, kind of username and password. Username should be pretty easy. Um, it's your lunch number. Um, this student that I'm logging in as today is John Doe. Um, he's a fake student I created and his lunch number is 29287. Um, password. Infinite Campus automatically generates everybody a password based on the first initial of your first name, your first initial of your last name, and your birthday is a six digit number. If you've already logged into Infinite Campus before, the first thing they ask you to do um, when you do that is change your password. If you've changed your password to something else, I don't know what that is. There is a forgot password button down here. You could go through that process to see if you can recover that password. If this kind of stock password doesn't work, you're not sure what you changed yours to, there is a blue link down here at the bottom of this course sign up information sheet for kind of a, I can reset your Infinite Campus password. So click on that Google form, put in your name, and I'll get back to you with the new password for you if your password doesn't work. So John Doe's password, again, First initial first name, first initial last name, and then birthday 110306. Um, that will be his password. So let's see here JD110306. Log in. You'll see it takes you directly to John Doe's page. If you have never logged in before, it's going to, first thing Infinite Campus is going to ask you to do, excuse me is update your 
um, password. So you'll have to put in the that stock password that you used to get in there, create a new password, and then confirm the new password. The second thing Infant Campus will ask you to do is link an email address to the account. Please use your school email address. That way, any notifications that come through Infinite Campus will go to your school email. Um, once you do those two things, you should get in. Um, you may see a picture of yourself up here in the left-hand corner. Over here on the right-hand side, you may even see your current schedule. Um, but what we're going to find today are the teacher recommendations for next year. So we're going to start up here at the kind of hamburger symbol, go all the way down to the bottom, click the word more. The next screen that pops up in the middle, you find course registration and BHS 2021. Once you walk through all of those steps, you'll get to the classes that you recommended for next year. <coughs> if you look at John Doe, it looks like John Doe was recommended for, or he got into English 9 honors after he applied. He's in regular intro to social science. He's in pre-algebra at the CS level. He's at intro to physical science at the CS level. And then as I said, everybody was, he's also signed up for health and project adventure. Uh, you'll notice both of those are at the CP level. All of our electives or our non-core courses are all only offered at the CP level. So everybody takes health at the CP level. Everybody takes gym at the CP level, all right? Um, now, if you are missing one of those courses, if you're missing your English class, your science, your social studies, or your math class, there might be a couple of reasons for that. We head back here to the information sheet. Um, really, there are two kind of big reasons why that may be. One, if you're in special education, <coughs> excuse me, they may be waiting for your end of the year IEP to finalize your transition plan. Um, if you've got questions about what classes you're going to be taking next year, please contact your case manager at the middle school and they may be able to help you out. Uh, if you're an ELL student, you'll notice you don't have an ELL class on your schedule yet. Uh, about a month ago, you took the WIDA test. Um, those test results should be back by the end of April and we'll get you into the right class once we know how you did on your WIDA test. If neither of those apply and you're still missing a course, please contact your eighth grade teachers and they'll either help you through that or they'll contact me if there's some kind of an issue. Um, and that kind of walks you through where to find your core courses and uh, what to do if you've got any questions about them. Thank you very much and have a good day.